To a certain degree, we are what we choose. Decisions are made every day, and how we decide, what we decide, says a great deal about who we are. Some decisions are trivial. What kind of ice cream should I get tonight? But others are life-changing. Is this the person I want to marry? Is this the college I want to attend? For five weeks now, we've been reading from the sixth chapter of John, the area that's called the Bread of Life Discourse. Next week, we return to Mark's Gospel, and we'll be reading from Mark until the first Sunday of Advent. In today's section, we bring it to a close, and Jesus basically says to the people that are around him, what are you going to do? Are you going to follow me or not? In a large section, it says, went back to their homes, that the saying of Jesus was, too difficult. Then he said to the disciples, will you too leave? And Peter says, Lord, to whom shall we go? To a certain extent, we can learn from the way we make decisions in everyday life about how we are or are not making decisions when it comes to the faith, especially when we need to decide the morality of the choices we make. Some summarize our decision-making process with three action words. See, judge, and act. The first thing we do, consciously or not, is to see what the options are, see what the facts are. Then we have to analyze them before making a judgment. Then the most difficult part of the task is to act. We can't simply just know something in our head. We really have to do it. The disciples saw Jesus. They accepted what he said. And then they followed. They moved. For a Catholic, the gathering of facts for faith or morality must always include what the church teaches and at what level of authority she teaches it. We have to ask, what do the scriptures say, if anything, about what we should or should not do? Then after gathering the facts, we need to analyze them. When we speak of moral decisions, we should understand that this ought to involve prayer, consultation with others, and being conscious of the effect my decision will have on others. Finally, we need to act. We need to do it. We need to follow through. We can't simply say over and over again, I, I ought to do this, or I ought not to do this. We need to really follow through in our own life. We can all apply this process of see, judge, and act to various decisions that we're confronting today. Should I encourage or stay in a particular relationship? Should I adopt a particular ethical practice in my work? How do I best use the freedom retirement gives me? Are there things going on in my life that I need to change? What should I be when school starts up again? What friends should I hang around with? These choices and more like them help define who I am as a person and who I am as a follower of Christ. Yes, to a certain degree, we are what and whom we choose.